This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. I'm James Beastie and welcome to The Good Ride, where it's not about a pride, it's just about how this board rides. And this is the Weston Ridgeline 158. I compared this against the Yes Pick Your Line 159, the Backwoods 157, and the GNU Banked Country, which is GNU for 2022. God, that was awful. I rode this primarily with my Union Atlas and Burton Kendos. I got this late spring. Pretty good snow though for how bad it looks on camera. And it was a good test. We got soft spring conditions, hard spring conditions, even got a little time in the half pipe and got to ride this in the snake. So good enough for a review, for sure. Check out the powder section of the review because after I filmed this review, I got some more time on it in powder and you can see my update there. And to give you a short summary, this is a very traditional style free ride board with you know, a modern camber profile take on it. Got a decent amount of taper, not a lot. It's got a directional shape, but not too directional. It's got a decent setback on board. It's got a mellow camber profile that has good pop to it, good spring out of the turn, and it's damp, but not dead. It's a very balanced, very fun free ride board. For those who don't want to get too tapered and too directional, still want to throw it around switch every now and then, and want to play around and have a little bit of that all mountain personality, more of a double ender feel, but still have that tapered directional setback thing going on for when the powder comes. Now let's talk sizing. This 58 felt great. It felt like my kind of board. Felt like it was made for my size nine boots and my 185 to 190 pounds at the time I was riding this. It felt right there just like the Pick Your Line does, just like the Backwoods does, and just like the Banked Country does. All of them fit really well in terms of sizing and I, I just felt like this was like the perfect size for me. I wouldn't want to change a thing. Now, when it comes to the shape, this is tapered directional. It has like nine mil of taper and you can feel a little bit of that taper, but it's not super tapered. I actually feel the taper a little bit more with the pick your line. Maybe it's cause I'm a little more centered on board with the pick your line than I am the ridge line, but I feel like I need more back foot weight on the pick your line with only like six mil of taper and this has nine. The backwoods feels a little more tapered, a little more directional, a little wider, a little meaner. The GNU Banked Country feels a pretty tapered too, but probably more similar to the Ridge Line. Just more augmented camber there, just full on camber, a little more technical. And speaking of the camber profile, this has a nice, long, mellow camber that goes almost to the tail and then early rises a little bit before this long nose and it feels good. It feels stable. It doesn't feel too locked in. It doesn't feel too catchy. It's kind of in line with the pick your line and it's kind of like the uh, backwoods. They just, they feel borderline locked in but still on that stable side to where a competent intermediate could have no problem handling this. It skids a turn really easy. It's not super locked in like the GNU Banked Country. That just really wants advanced expert riders. It's got a nice kind of medium stiff flex between the feet, a medium nose, much softer in the nose than it is in the middle. And the tail is pretty stiff. But when you get this on snow, it butters pretty well. And it kind of has that same kind of flex as all these boards do. So I'm not gonna flex those as well, but it just butters pretty well off the tail for what it is. It's not easy, but it's doable. It's very easy off the nose. And it's not the poppiest board, but it's got good pop to it. For example, if you're on the banked country, you're gonna notice a big difference pop-wise. That thing is just super poppy. But in comparison to the Backwoods and the Pick Your Line, it's kind of on par with them. Very doable pop, good dampness, nice balance between being damp and poppy. And this flex personality 
does really well with all kinds of snow. So this is a great all day resort ride. You can ride this in morning micro bumpy snow and it doesn't get too cranky and bucky and bouncy and chattery and clown shoey. There's a little bit of chatter in the nose, but it quiets down pretty quick just about starts to quiet right about the end of the Weston logo. So the rest of the board feels pretty damp and it just has this just nice all conditions ride that can power over snow really well and deal with pretty much anything you're gonna see at an all day resort adventure. And I think that's pretty cool. Now when it comes to base glide, Weston just has nice fast bases. It's they're about the same as my pick your line, maybe a little bit better. I'd say it's kind of more in line with Jones. They've got like the best bases you can get for the price point. This is kind of right there with them. They just have this easy glide when well waxed and I love that. Same as the backwoods, but definitely a better glide than the banked country. And you can point it with this. This isn't the ultra mega bomber, but it's pretty good and you can get some decent mountain speed going on here. Now when it comes to edge hold there's a lot going on with the side cut but it's very subtle and I love the way this grips in kind of medium to medium hard snow and then it doesn't grab in soft snow and powder either especially wet softer snow. I really liked how this grips overall Maybe not the ice specialist, but pretty good. So the overall turning experience is pretty interesting with this board. I thought it would be very down the line and gunny. I thought it would really favor quick turn initiation, and it does. It really responds quickly for my size nine boots, and I could get it to turn anywhere I wanted really quick. Then I thought it would slow way more down when you really engage the side cut, and I thought it would favor that long drawn out S turn, those narrow long drawn out turns. And it does, it does that really well. It's a good steep terrain board. It's good for turning in tight spots, but it was also pretty fun carving across the groomer. And I think that multi-radius side cut might have something to do with it. Who really knows, who really cares? It's just fun to carve across the groomers and it even does a pretty good job at a circle carve. And I even got some time in the snake in this. It wasn't ideal, it's a little too long. I, I like a shorter, more turny board in that, but I got through it and it was really fun. Pretty balanced turner overall and it was a lot of fun to, to ride and turn. It's not the springiest and most powerful board. It doesn't have like a full on camber, but it's, it's a nice spring out of the turn for how forgiving it is. And I actually enjoyed it about the same or a little more than my Yes Pick Your Line. It's a little different from the West and Back Country. That's a little more wider, a little more powerful, but still a very fun turning experience. And then the Banked Country, I mean, that's the winner here. It's a much better carver and turner than the Ridge Line, but you pay a price for it with being so unforgiving and it's not gonna float as well in powder as this ridgeline. So it's all about what's more fun for you. Now, speaking of powder, you can see with nine mil of taper, this nice big long nose, a little bit of early rise before that, then a good setback on board of three inches back from center of board with a 22 inch or 22.25 inch stance width, something like that. You can see the numbers above. It's got decent setback on board, kind of in line with a lot of traditional free ride boards, more so than the pick your line that's only 2.5 inches back on board and almost as much as the Weston Backwoods at, uh, I think it's like 3.25 inches back on board and more than the full camber GNU banked country at negative 2.75 inches back on board. So here I am back in the office, but this morning I actually got the Weston Ridgeline in some powder. This morning before the lifts, I went up on the Weston Ridgeline split and got some time down, some good terrain in about knee high powder. Then when the lifts were open, it's opening day, not much terrain available, I took the solid out as well. 
but luckily they're the same exact shape and size, both 158s, same specs, same everything, same camber profile, same setback on board. For this much setback on board, it didn't float as well as I'd hoped. I liked my backwoods better. It just has a little more easier float, but it does well. And again, this is the kind of board it is. It's just a board to do well at everything not amazing at any one thing, and it's a very versatile board. And so if you can set it all the way back, you can get decent directional float. And ride and switch with this is very doable. Out of all these boards, this was my favorite. And I felt like it tracked into little bumps that I got air off well, and it's gonna land pretty well and be pretty forgiving landing too. So kind of cool all around there. Pipe was really fun with this. I really enjoyed this in the pipe because I'm kind of a directional rider. I'm not a real strong pipe rider, but I love going in there and just taking it safe and carving the walls. And this did a really good job there. So pretty fun overall in playing around outside of the mountain. So the Western Ridgeline isn't bad when it steps out of its strong points and kind of like dabbles in the park area. Uh, it's pretty competent there for what it is. So overall, I really like the Western Ridgeline. I had a fun time on it. You know, it's got that, it's not really doing any one thing amazing, but you just get this consistent, fun personality throughout anything you do. And, and that's all you can ask for with a board like this. This is the kind of board you get for a one board quiver kind of ride. I just find it was a nice change up from the backwoods, which is a little more aggressive. You ride that just a little shorter, a little wider. You can see the difference between the two. Do I like one better than the other? No, they each have different personalities, but this is a really fun board and it hung in there with a lot of my free ride favorites. I think it's really fun and I think it's a nice one board solution. All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. There's no brand oversight. And we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything unless it's a favorite. Then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the MeHarmony profile in the contact us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. If you want to support us and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So thanks for watching.